Now to football, Mount Pleasant Academy remains the only unbeaten team in the Jamaica Premier League, while reigning champions Cavalier recorded back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season as the JPL continued on Sunday at the Captain Hurstboro Centre of Excellence. With the previously unbeaten Waterhouse losing on Saturday, Mount Pleasant had the opportunity to open up a three-point gap on the Druzan team when they played Dumbo Holden on Sunday. The first half was evenly contested, but both teams failed to find a telling blow. However, 11 minutes after the resumption, the ever-reliable Daniel Green brought the deadlock to send Mount Pleasant in front and on their way to three points. With the 90 minutes elapsed, it seemed the points were safe until Dumbo Holden's leading goal scorer at a far right bank grave broke Mount Pleasant hearts with an equalizer in the fifth minute of added time. In the first half, we were really in command, you know. Um, we, we had possession, you know, we were creating the chances. We didn't capitalize. The second half, I think we were a little bit flat. Um, they got the goal, you know, we kept fighting. We could have gone down 2-0, but we, we stuck in the game and we got the goal at the, the last kick of the game. That's good. It's the right decision. We had the ball, we were going to go. We're Mount Pleasant, we come here to win, we attack. We was trying to score, so I would never criticise my players for doing that. It was a great move, just didn't come off, we didn't score. In the second game of the double header, Cavalier left it late to secure a 1-0 win over Harbour View. St. Lucian goalkeeper Vino Backlet kept his team in the game with some important saves to leave the game level at 0-0 at half time. The scoreline remained that way until the 88th minute when Kenroy Camber produced the win of a last season's champions. Well, I'm very much pleased on my team, you know, we, we, we fought hard and we, we know Arborview is, a, is a always a, a, a team who is going to put up a challenge against Cavalier. But nonetheless, we stuck to the challenge and we got three points, which was very important today. Very disappointing, but um, we see a lot of positives in the game. You know, we played much better than we played against Arnick Gardens. And I thought the result was a bit unfair. I think the guys created enough chances to win the game, but football is, is, is like this. If you don't score, you're not going to win. The league continues on Monday as Arnick Gardens take on Veer United and Montego Bay United opposes Tivoli Gardens.